Trojan family, Trojan family, what's up, man? You, SCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about Big Kingston, man. St. John Bosco, big-time linebacker. You see him here with his parents. Uh, we got a good, encouraging update today, man, and we're going to talk about it. Um, look, man, Kingston is a four-star linebacker out of St. John Bosco, a guy that USC is in hot pursuit of right now. A guy that USC doesn't want to let uh, slip out of his arms. So we're going to take a look at his information, man. We're going to take a look at him, man. Um, I believe he's getting lost in the USC love sauce, man. And, and look, Kingston, if you hear this, bro, we hey, we want you, man. Stay home, man. It's, it's straight up go time was taking place with USC. It's on and popping. Also, we want to talk about USC moving to the number four spot. They officially moved it to the number four spot. We already told you that. All right, so this is Kingston. And as you see, he is a big boy. He is a four-star prospect out of St. John Bosco, man, a consistent four-star, big-time player, um, big body, man, must get in-state product. And look, man, USC, USC and Lincoln Riley are currently right now throwing the USC love sauce all on him right now. And look, man, uh, just today, uh, as we stated, USC, Lincoln Riley just put out a tweet, retweet last night, yesterday, uh, just showing that, you know, he was there, he was visiting, making the visit. And uh, But the comments, though, the comments that are coming from uh, not only Lincoln Riley, but the comments that are coming from Kingston, um, it, it's straight up go time, man. I mean, USC, uh, Lincoln Riley, I think it's a match made in heaven that's um, inevitably going to happen due to the fact that uh, this guy's a homegrown kid. He loves home. He loves where USC's at. He loves where Lincoln Riley's at. He loves what Lincoln Riley is doing. But we're going to take a look real quick at some comments that he made. Very telling comments, man. Let's take a look real quick. All right, this was a tweet put out by Matt Marino, and it reads here. He says, "What they?" And this was coming directly from Kingston. He says, "What they are doing over there, and their ability to keep the in-state guys in-state is really appealing." Um, and this is him here talking about him stopping by St. John Bosco. But everybody is taking notice, just like Ryan Palum. Ryan Palum, you know, we stated this before that his uncle coached at Oregon. Brother played at Washington State, and they had no intentions on coming to USC. Everything changed, though. Everything has changed. The perception now for USC, Lincoln Riley has really changed the complexion and the perception of USC as it relates to recruits. And I think this is one of the biggest, biggest impacts other than, uh, you know, his coach, only his coaching abilities, but the, the perception. How does everybody perceive USC to be right now? And Lincoln Riley has changed that. And it, it's officially changed that. Now we're starting to see guys that would normally not come to USC, um, the home state guys, not come, come to USC now. We know that Kingston, look, man, Kingston's family, when they were here on that trip, man, USC, Lincoln Riley just threw that absolute love sauce. They got lost in the USC love sauce, and it was just, uh, it was incredible. Everybody looks happy, man. You see Kingston with that smile. I mean, every, it just looked, the fit looks right. And so look, man, this is what, this is what's taking place right now. USC, we're going for the number, the number three class in the country right now. We're sitting at number four. Kingston will automatically put us in there. Um, looks like it could be possibly coming soon. But in my opinion, this is really what, what the icing on the cake was right here. Uh, when you put a guy like Troy Palomala, to me, this right here really sealed the deal. And I'm not saying it's done. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's done. But it seems to be trending in that direction that USC could be locking down Kingston. Um, the, the, the relationship, the feelings are very mutual right now on both sides. And I think USC will secure this guy, uh, one of the Bosco Four. Lost one of them in Jordan Lockhart, but one of the Bosco Four, which is Kingston, um, could possibly become and commit to USC very, very soon. And I mentioned about the tweet. This was the actual tweet here. You see Lincoln Riley retweeted this. Um, he just retweeted it. And he says, you know, this is uh he said, man, what a weekend. Thank you for at USC football um, and the staff for having me and my family this past weekend. We love every second. Uh, really no place like home. And you see uh, Kingston with Gavin. 
and I believe that's probably his little brother. And then you see his mom, mom and pops that, you know, the family just looking like the USC love sauce is real. And uh, this is what Lincoln Riley retweeted yesterday. And so I think it's some hope there. I think it's a lot of promise there. And I think it's on and popping. It's on and cracking. And then one more piece of evidence we got here as USCJ completes this case, his investigation. It says here, this is Kingston when making reference. This is uh, per source, per, per rivals.com. And uh, he says, I don't know. I mean, I have a good relationship with the staff. That's all I got to say. No, no comment. So it looks like this thing could really be trending in USC's favor. Um, one of the Bosco Four that we really need, very important piece, could be coming close to an end. You guys hit me in the comments. You guys tell me what you think. All right, in other news, we got major news that took place yesterday. USC moved up to number four in the country. You guys already know. I predicted when it's all said and done, we'll be a top three recruiting ranking team. And look, you guys say, look, how did this happen so quick? We were just at like number seven. Of course, you guys know Ryan Palin. They, uh, he came through with a nice four-star commit commitment um, on Monday. Then we have Marquise Gallegos on Tuesday. And then, we, of course, we followed that by Makai. Both, all those were four-star prospects. That bumped us up. All of those bumped us up to number four. Um, and then... We had something that take place. We passed up Bama, something that take place yesterday, and I'm getting ready to show you guys that as well. But USC, the phenomenal job that the coaching staff is, is doing right now, it's just unbelievable, man. You guys hit me in the comments. You guys let me know what you think. Is it go time or is it go time? Is it on the pop or is it on the popping? Let's take a look at how this happened with USC. All right, yesterday, Alabama got this three-star defensive tackle. He's a big boy. He's a monster, but he committed yesterday. And uh, his name is Isaiah Faggy, Figgy, Faga. I think that's his name, Faga. And yesterday he committed. But however, him being the three star, this is how this happened. Him being the three star yesterday actually moved USC up to the number four spot and moved Bama down. That went against their, you know, percentage of players. You guys know we brought you uh, the percentage of players yesterday, and uh, it's a it's a very uh, uh, it's a way that they calculate the, the quality of, of players that are actually coming in your class. USC was able to secure quality players, quality stars, four stars. As a result, it bumped us up to number four. We get a guy like Kingston, it's going to move us even up further. And uh, look, we, we're looking for some stuff to happen. All right, and the last thing I got for you is Draylon Miller. You guys already know Draylon is supposed to be making that commitment tonight. Um, you guys already know it's a package deal between with him and Ty Anthony Smith, linebacker projected to go to USC. Um, look, he was a lean, big time lean toward USC, and it was essentially like a 40, 50, 50 to 50 USC LSU. All of a sudden, he took a visit to Texas A&M. Now you had crystal balls that are coming out um, for for uh, Texas A&M. Are they passing him the back? I have no idea, but all I know is. He absolutely loved USC. Him and Ty Anthony Smith both love USC. And we're looking for those two to possibly come to USC if nothing crazy doesn't happen. So, look, man, you guys hit me in the comments. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, Dre Long, possibly a USC Trojan tonight. Ty Anthony Smith may be following him. So, let's see what happens with that. And uh, But this is the other news. But listen, until later on, everybody stay blessed. Exciting times right now with USC. It's straight up go time. It's only popping. It's only cracking. Until later on, everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.